welcome to another episode of Cook Talks with Angry Black Woman. This week we'll be cooking an asparagus and mushroom peppered sauce kind of thing. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm literally running with it. I, I just came up with this idea and I thought, look, I'm going to give it a try and see how it comes out. And we're going to pair that with quinoa. I was going to do plantain, but your girl didn't go to the market. So no plantain on the side today. That being said, I have two amazing guests. Well, one's amazing, one's annoying. Um, I have Josiah, also known as Mr. 200 Meters. And then I have Molly, also known as Omalea, also known as Pop to Molly, who, who happens to be my little sister. So this week's episode is going to be an amazing episode. We're going to be discussing social media versus real life. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. with me in my kitchen you have my beautiful sister the annoying one the annoying guest basically and um, basically yeah we're gonna get it on get it on let's get it on <laughs> <laughs> right okay so what we're doing got all set out got peppers scotch bonnets asparagus tips baby button mushrooms chestnut mushrooms for that nutty flavor pick up the quinoa do your thing <laughs> so I want to fry the mushrooms in the asparagus, steam the asparagus, fry the mushrooms with some onions, fry the peppers to give you that kind of Nigerian atta. Someone's gonna have to do I'm gonna do translations yeah. at the bottom. Atta dindi, hehe. You are useful, you see? Yeah, yeah. So that's basically fried stew, fried peppers, um, and mixing the mushrooms and the asparagus with it, and then we're gonna go in with the quinoa and make it like a fragrance quinoa. Then we're gonna eat it and we're gonna taste good. And if it don't taste good, someone's gonna let you know. I'm gonna start with the stew because that's something that's second nature to me. So I'm gonna get the onions. I need my goggles. Hi guys. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start with the onions. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fry a bit of onions, but I'm also gonna blend some onions with the peppers. Like I've always said, and I will always say, red onions, A1 in any dish, because it just makes everything sweeter. Um, move this to the side because I want to use that when I'm rinsing. Move that to the side. So I'm going to use this pot just so that the um, peppers have space. What's that surface area? What's that for? That's what it's called, isn't it? Surface area to actually fry because when it's in like a small pot, it doesn't have the space to fry and dry out, and that's really what you want to do with this. I wonder if you get the um, lighter, please. Thank you. Avocado oil, as we do, just because avocado oil is um, the healthier option. Um, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna cuss me, gonna be like, oh, look at a big ass cooker, she doesn't have the fucking button to put it on. But, <laughs> but um, I'm not explaining that to anyone. Or if you haven't even explained that to me. Basically, it's got the thing, I was meant to buy a plug and wire it in, and I told my landlord, nah, I'll do it, I swear it on myself. Um, and you haven't got around to it. Yeah, answer. basically. So, and it's just convenient. I grew up in a house where we used matches and lighters, so. What house was that? We had an ignition. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mum. No, that big one that she used to use. Yeah, after it broke. No, go away, man. Right, so she's gonna make it look like I come to the internet to be terrorized against my the household I grew up in. That's not the case. My mom, your mom. Oh, fuck that. Ooh. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna chop up some onions now. Molly just posted off on a thing because Molly doesn't actually do anything. One of my, I'm here to look good. One of my pet peeves about my sister is the fact that my whole life she has never ever done anything. So, like she just said, she's here to look good. We should obviously see what she's doing. No, actually, you're not going to be just standing there looking good. Then empty all the mushrooms into that bowl mm -hmm. and rinse them. Nice rinse, like proper rinse. We're going to use a bit of white vinegar as well, but I'll show you how to do that. So, how have you been, sister? How have been, I? How have been, I? Um, how have you been? I've been good. I just came back from holiday, so... 
and hats. Been seeing the pics. Been seeing why they banned? Bang. Of course they do. It's me. <laughs> You're a wanker. Guys, I apologize for the language. When I was on holiday, I was told that I have a really potty mouth. And um, I wasn't really aware of this. No, I'm lying. I was aware of this. I just didn't know how bad it was for somebody else to pick it up. But then, if you know me, you know this. And if you don't, then it's new to you. Is it a problem if the, um, the head falls off the stem? No. OK. I should have prepped these onions before because um. I just don't have energy for onions. I'm actually still very tired from um, since I've been back. You've been back for a week. No, I haven't, you liar. You liar, you're a liar. It's Sunday today. It's Sunday today, I came back on a Wednesday, so I've not been here for a week. You should stab you in the bum. Black black I don't guys. understand why you're so aggressive. I'm not aggressive. I'm actually a really nice person. Aggressive. I'm not. I'm not. Guys, don't listen to her. The whole black angry, black angry, angry, angry black, black woman is a fitting alias for this one. Very fitting. Honestly, she's lying. Like, if you know me, I'm going to need you guys to, like, back me up because I'm a really nice, gentle person. It's really a play on words. So, I'm her hair chopping up. So, I'm going to dice the onions because, um... Yeah, for this kind of stewy thing that I'm going for. Nice, chunky diced onions. I would do them smaller, but um, no, no. I like, I like to feel onions when I'm eating them. I actually really love onions, so I'm just throwing onions in. I should dice all of them before I throw them in. But feel free to do this however you wish. I feel like the most important thing when you're cooking is that you do it how you like doing it. So don't feel like you have to cook something a certain way because that's how you see other people them cooking it or whatever. Like, do your thing. If you have to use one of those mini choppers to chop your onions, do that. If you can use your hands, do that. Just make sure it tastes good. I feel like that's always the important thing. Make sure where you're cooking is clean and the food tastes good. Everything else, how you get there is irrelevant. Do you agree, Molly? Yeah. Do you do a lot of cooking, my sister? I feel like you're trying to trick me. <laughs> you're asking trick questions. Um, How is such a simple thing? A trick question. Yes or no, no? Do you know what? I do cook, but I wouldn't say I cook a lot. Um, my lifestyle just doesn't enable me to cook a lot, you know? It's a lifestyle. I'm being a poor student. Oh, okay, I understand. Well, hmm, I was never really there. Never went through those struggles. Oh, well, well, I was always a rich student, you know. We all have our different trials and tribulations. Yeah, <laughs> my trials and tribulations were definitely completely different. But, um, that's a topic for another day. I actually look forward to that conversation. It's a topic for another day. It really is a topic for another day, and I look forward to that one. So, as per usual, I've got the... Red onions doing its thing with chili flakes. As you've all come to learn that chili flakes and wumi are synonymous. And now I'm literally gonna get these two, put it in with the peppers in the blender. Um, expecting another guest soon. This is actually a guest I've been looking forward to having on my show. But you haven't been looking forward to me yet? No, not really, because you're not. Oh, wow. Do you thought I was gonna lie? Alrighty then, I All see where I stand. Of course, I'm sure you, you've been knowing where you stand, Molly. You blocked, you had me blocked on your phone for like two weeks. You know, are we, are we let's gonna... not air on that, you know what you are on YouTube. Okay, I, cool, <laughs> so don't come at me with nonsense when you know you've been doing a madness on the streets. <laughs> the streets, yeah. On the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I really want the onions to soak up the chili flake flavor and um, get really soft, just because it's going to be in like a stew-esque kind of thing. So I want to... Put onions, peppers, scotch, everything's literally gonna go in here and then go in there. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, my scotch bonnets are always rinsed before they go in the freezer, so that's why they look like this. So these are clean scotch bonnets. How do you feel about spice on my Do you know what? It depends on who's the spice master. Because I like spice when mum does it, but when you do it, it's a bit aggressive. So, um, I feel like you just want to make me say like an all-round <laughs> aggressive 
a third person for the purpose of your agenda and I don't appreciate it. Well, everyone else is eating my spice when they said it's aggressive. It's aggressive. It's a nice little kick. That's it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Right, so <clears throat> one thing I will say is if my voice sounds weird, different in this video as to other videos, it's just because um, <clears throat> I may have left it in Mexico. But um, what else did you leave in Mexico? <laughs> What happens in Cancun stays in Cancun, baby. Yeah. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing's happening. I went to go and live my best life and I came back and I took nice pictures and I <laughs> went in Mexico and drink tequila, they say, and I nearly died. Tequila nearly killed me. But overall, it was a great holiday. I feel like everyone should do it once. Shout out to the team at Cancun X that have done this. This was like their third year doing this. Thing. and it was good for the most part obviously little things here and there but for the most part and for the money you're paying definitely worth every penny so shout out to them man there <laughs> right what i should have put in first was my chopped tomatoes just because um you know the soft bit at the bottom should be at the bottom the liquid should be at the bottom the, but I've got a good blender so I can get away with it. If you have a cheap blender, put the liquid always at the always put the liquid at the bottom to um, alleviate the pressure on the actual blades. Food science 101. Yeah. Cook talk hack. Um so now I'm literally you don't have to cut these off in any specific way or anything exciting like that. You really just want to get it all in there just because um you're gonna blend it. I'm gonna show you the two peppers I use. These are the long sweet peppers and these are the red red i failed <coughs> red capsicums or red caps as people call them what's paprika because every time i see paprika i always see that but then that's not paprika so I'm google is free I, i'm not sure i as far as i'm concerned paprika, paprika. i can't say it because i can't say it ah, so you just put me on the spot paprika paprika <laughs> It's like, I only know it's seasoning, isn't it? But uh, there is a pepper for paprika. Oh my God, this girl. So these are the two peppers I use. I, I prefer these peppers the most just because they're sweeter and they make the food sweet. These ones, obviously, the good old tatashe. If you're Nigerian, you know what I mean. If you don't, red caps. Yeah, so when I'm cooking, the ratio, I use like two of these to one of these, depending on the size of this, um, just because this has the color and the flavor. They both have the color, but I feel like this one is a better a richer better yeah see she understands me that's okay. an important thing make sure that if you're leaving the onions on for as long as i have it's on the lowest heat because um you don't want burnt chili flakes nor do you want burnt onions so molly tell us about yourself well my name is molly i'm your sister i'm 21 years old i'm a student what you studying sciences Ooh, my logical um yeah i'm a student oh i love lots let's do that again Shh. <laughs> I actually <heard> <laughs> right so here i'm just blending the peppers so you go back into it for me in a second blending the peppers and onions and the scotch bonnets and all that good stuff that's it <laughs> If I put the chopped tomatoes at the bottom, I wouldn't have to do all the shaking. When you want to fry pepper or stew or whatever, and you want that fried effect, strain the water out of the um, and don't blend, it with blend. Water. and don't blend it with water. That's the other thing. I've done what you see, it picks things up, and you can see all of that water coming out because that's like the excess water you don't want. If you do do it with the water, it just takes so much longer to fry out. So I'm just going to stand. Continue to tell us about yourself, Monday, and where I stand here and doing this. Um, yeah, where did I get to? I'm a student. Um, I am. Do you know what? I'm just going to call it a creative because I create things and then post them on the internet depending on what medium I'm feeling like keys in. So sometimes it's blog posts, sometimes it's YouTube videos, and sometimes it's just a slave for picture upon the gram. No, sometimes you have to do it to them. <laughs> You're such a savage. Um, yeah. That's, that's really me. 
yeah, that's that's Molly. That's very interesting. Very it's interesting. Not out yet. Right. So once this is drained and it's literally dripping, like you know, it's completely drained. Um. Yeah. So Molly's at the door. Put that here. Take this off. And um. Oh. Someone is at my front door. Who are you? Hello. Amazing, Mr. Two Hundred Meters here. Um, Josiah, to people that know him, but to you, you two people, I'm guessing this Mr. Two Hundred Meters or Two Hundred M or what was it? This guy, Mr. M Two Hundred. Two hundred. <laughs> obviously, like me and Mr. So just saying, people obviously went to school for decoration because if you can't tell that Two Hundred M is Two Hundred Meters, then we have issues. But anyway, back to the kitchen. I have completely drained out my pepper, onion, and scotch bonnet mix. And it looks amazing. Oh, I'm gonna fill you in in a second. But let me just get this back on. Push that back onto the fire. I had to take it off just for a second. This is gonna drip, drippity drip. And we're gonna put this in. Turn this off. I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in it. No, Molly, I'm gonna put a bit more oil in it. No, it's still on, don't worry. Oh, I meant to The lighter is not really good. A bit more, babe. We need to set things on fire. What? Wow. <laughs> is this what we're doing? Is this the energy? Um, so, I'm going to let that burn off a bit. Um, so, I don't know if you're aware, what we're cooking today is like a peppered mushroom and asparagus quinoa. thing with quinoa. Or with quinoa. With quinoa. Do you know what quinoa mm. is? It looks like sand. When it's cooked, like, when it's cooked, it looks like sand. Nah, do you oh. see how he's trying to say this? <laughs> like when it's cooked, yeah, when it's cooked. Like a beach. Like, that's what I mean. Like. <laughs> <laughs> right on beach. <laughs> right on the beach. <laughs> but yeah, um, now you can, I hope you guys can hear this simmer. And we're literally good. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 I've now poured in the pepper. Oh shit, I'm off to the cinema. And that fried sound, sizzle sound, the sizzling. Sim the Sim Zimmer, who has the keys to my. After the moon. Sim <laughs> yeah, um, we're literally just gonna we'll put that in now and we're gonna let that fry out. Mix it together. Um, I'm gonna season it now. I'm not gonna put too much seasoning just because. I'm gonna season up the mushrooms and the um, asparagus. asparagus. I'm gonna steam the asparagus and we're going to fry slash saute the, um, so the mushrooms. The mushrooms. And the main thing with this is just letting it fry and dry out. I might put a bit more oil in it. Pardon? <laughs> what does he mean to saute? Saute, is it? Saute, like, fry. Yeah, yeah, it's like a light fry where you let it I'm a chef, I'm a chef, I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm whispered to like, you, what does he mean to saute? <laughs> and then he's saying, I'm a chef. <laughs> Alright, cool. So um, it's like halloumi cheese, innit? Saute. I don't eat, I don't, no? I don't eat halloumi. I don't, um, I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what they do? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But anyway, I'm just gonna clear up a little bit and then we're gonna get into the mushrooms and the asparagus. Oh, yeah. Do up mushrooms, I've prepped them so I've just kind of chopped them up, um, halved the bottom ones and chopped up the chestnut mushrooms. Gonna season them a bit. Wanna pass me a cube, please? Should have done it like this. Oh, really? no, no, she can do this one like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chili babe. <bean. laughs> um uh, <laughs> this is a no cube. No bay. No bay. <laughs> this is not the opportunity to be. 
You have no choice. Oh, you need to know that cube. No, you're doing the asparagus because I was going to get onto you for getting onto me, but, but um, right, so literally just the, ah, oh, sorry. I'm just going to throw this in the oil, basically. No, I'm not. Ah, right, look, your opportunity has come. Chili flakes in the oil. The oil? In the oil. You're not ready. Let's try that again. Watch your head, love. <laughs> right, um, so I'm gonna put some chili flakes in the oil like I do to give the oil that beautiful infused flavour that we all know I'm obsessed with. I've just learned a little secret from um this is 200 meters. I'll be shepherding in my pastimes. And I'll apparently, bet. if you put a bit of salt in the oil, it stops it from popping. So we're gonna put in a bit of um, pink Himalayan salt because pink Himalayan salt for the win. Uh, and we're gonna throw in the beautiful mushrooms. Come on, there, would you like to see those? Am I using hand or a spoon? Babe, just pull it in, my love. Wow, you just stole my moment. It's so cute. Who's gonna start spitting the ice cream? It's ice cream. <laughs> She's doing fashion. She's doing fashion. It's the beach. It's the beach. That's what we'll come here to discuss today. So, I'm just gonna let the mushrooms do its thing. Mushrooms excite me just because of how, like, I say, I say the texture of mushrooms is very synonymous to meat, where I don't eat meat anymore. Mm. It excites me. Um, and what I'm also going to do now is rinse the asparagus. Would you like to do some rinsing? Okay. I'm going to rinse the asparagus. You guys are very useful. I'm going to do the white vinegar rinse. I'm here for moral support. Honey, 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 the water. <laughs> Unless you're drinking the water. Um, hey, we've got asparagus that I've literally just chopped into little pieces. Um, and <laughs> I don't know what they're laughing at. Ignore them, focus on me. And now we're going to put this in the steamer. I've got a little gadget that I use for steaming. I do not know what the actual name is. Where is it from? I got it from TK Maxx. It oh, was branded. Oh no, I'm lying. I know exactly where it's from. It's from the same place that my lemon squeezy thing is from. And it's called Joey. I actually don't know how to say it, but I believe it's J-O-I-E. Joey, Joey. I'm not sure how it's said. I think it's what? Joey. I think it's a French company, but they you have like... Joey. <laughs> <laughs> how do you pronounce it? <laughs> but um, they have really good like kitchen gadgets that I love. Um, I've got quite a few of their bits. I actually never noticed that the, still stuck on the steamer word. was that. So basically, what the steamer looks like, the pot's not too hot, is um, it's literally just a basket that sits on top of the water, allows you to steam the vegetables without losing the nutrients, obviously. So I'm going to throw the asparagus in there, let that steam. Yeah, it's hot. Um, and the mushrooms are here doing its thing. I think why I love mushroom. Mushroom is also really good because it creates its own juice, so it kind of gives you like a stock that you could use for mushroom jollof stock. rice or gravy. I'm going to do like a mushroom gravy meal. I can't think of what I'm going to do it with, but there will be a recipe that's going to have Coconut happen. rice. No, don't coconut rice. Already. Should have no, it was coconut quinoa though. Rice, coconut rice. Coconut rice with like a mushroom gravy. Ooh. Look at you, he's helping me with new next recipe. On, I feel obliged to invite Maybe you onto that episode. A mushroom curry, because then a mushroom curry, stock. yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ah, look at you people. Mm. Copyright, all of that. Um, this is belongs to us. Um, you don't be dumb, <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you already know. Um, I'm just gonna grab one of the mushrooms. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I play it cool. <laughs> Tastes really good. Flavors in it. I don't think I've got enough mushrooms here. Let's do this for the mushroom. You want to chop up some mushrooms? I'll go chop them up. 
So the bottom ones, you just cut them in half. Wash your hands while you're a clean boy, I like you. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> um, right, so what we're gonna do is let the asparagus steam for about 10 minutes. If it takes a little longer, I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna saute a bit more mushrooms and then I'm gonna go back into the sauce and the quinoa. Just half some, right? Yeah. I think I need to bulk buy quinoa just because I use quinoa so much. Um, I want to do two cups, which means I'll be using four cups of water because our standard is two cups of water to one cup of grain. For the most part, that works. I know some grains are a bit different, but for the most part, rice, quinoa so far, scientifically, two cups of water to one cup of grain. Um, these people are messing up my mushrooms, so I'm just gonna interfere. I'm gonna pass it over to you, convince that. You know how to wash rice? Just wash it like Yeah, just, yeah, wash just it like you're washing rice. So you can use this to prevent it from getting all over the place. You do not hold them. Why are you using a brown knife? Do Don't this, ask this, questions. Do you, do you push as a... This is smaller than rice, so... Do you know what? You're making us look very useless. Right, you wash it. And then it's smaller than the rest. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, <laughs> it's gonna I'll go through. I'll it's gonna go through. Oh, does, it, does it swell up? It doesn't, a little bit, but it just doesn't See, go look, it's good that it didn't make me look stupid because it's actually smaller than the rest. Like, the way I would have done it, you lose your whole product. No, like. you won't, because it will go in there and it won't come out. I was expecting it all to fall through. <laughs> it's not sand! <laughs> it's it's sand. Not. Is it not the same size as the beach, isn't it? It's not sand! <laughs> If you guys are looking at this thing like it, can you come and continue, please? Wash it till all the starchiness, the whiteness is out. Like, if you cut this, if you cut this, don't ask me, don't worry, look at me. I'm trying to cut like a master chef. If you cut, oh, right, so we're going to have some mushrooms that are just like unappealing in the milk, but it's okay. Anyway. I'm finished it in the sink, you don't need that bowl, actually. Alright, cool. Um, just, uh, the, 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 you, you washed the mushrooms at the start, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just, no, I remember, I just wanted to say that obviously mushrooms have been washed, so that's what we do here. We eat clean food with white vinegar. Yeah, to get rid of all the pesticides and all that shit. You know I get confused when cooking or eating. Why? Because I'm ambidextrous. So my brain sometimes gets really confused. As to what? If I'm left handed or right handed. You just bake, you just tip that into the like bowl of water. One, one arm always just feels uncomfortable doing something. That's what I'm right. saying. Like, are you completely ambidextrous? Like, Why are you ambidextrous? I, um, I don't know. Like, um, I started, I think, I, I don't know if I got an injury one time. Oh, okay. And then I started writing my left hand for a bit. Me, I wanna, I um, thought it was one of the good ones. Where that's that's what happened hand. to me. That's how I became ambidextrous. I, um, when I, when I had anger, as oh a yeah, child. you punch something. Your hand is shit. They didn't tell you to say. You say angry black woman. <laughs> More evidence. Not 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 going into too much. Basically, I injured my arm and I had stitches all the way up, and I had to learn how to use the other arm to write, other hand to write, because in school in Nigeria they wasn't really having none of that. I can't do the work because my arm is broken. They were busy asking me, did we send you? <laughs> um, so I had to learn how to use the other hand and it actually became a thing and I got quite, I could write with my left hand pretty, pretty good as well to be honest. Is this washed enough or do I keep going because I don't know how to work with non rice products? Because there's obviously rice at home. You need to get out of my face. There's <laughs> rice at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that the last word? Um, yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is just keeping in line with this stock just because yeah, it's already got the flavour. Is that the last water? Is that the last water? Cool. What about when that down? That Where's your hand? So I'm just going to fold this. No, I'm not. I'm going to put some seasoning in there. The clean one. A little bit of seasoning in there. So just a bit of that again. I'm going to use all of that so I'll put it back on the paper. I'll leave something else. A little bit of chili flakes. It takes it off and then it's gonna go in here and do its thing in the existing stock just because it's already there and it just means we have to create new flavours. 
She's trying to push her, we're not here for it. So I'm literally throwing this. Oh, look at me, I've outdone myself again. And um, this is something you probably hear me say a lot because when I'm cooking and I get excited, I scream. So um, I'm gonna put a bit of salt in this just because I didn't really do much with the asparagus. And asparagus can have a certain taste to it if it's not cooked properly. But it's already soft, so I'm just gonna let it sit in this simmer with these mushrooms, and then we're going to dry it out before it goes into the sauce. Um, yeah, that's that's that for now. Clear this place up, and then when I come back, I'll blend the two, um, and the quinoa will be on. So, like I said, it's two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. Literally, just gonna put the quinoa in with a couple of herbs and salt. Right, so we're okay. um, I'm just quickly going to finish up in the kitchen. Um, what I've got here is the mushroom and asparagus mix. It's kind of, I've drained out the stock from it. I'm going to use it for some kind of gravy at a later date. But right now you've just got the asparagus and the mushroom and they've kind of absorbed all the flavour. It tastes really good. You've got the pepper. Proper fried out, and you can see it's dry esque. Not dry, obviously, it's not what you want, but it's how I need it. And then I've got the quinoa that's finished boiling, and I've just boiled it with a little bit of avocado oil. I've put in some aromat, some a bit of pink Himalayan salt, and some herbs. So I've used parsley, basil, and thyme, and I've just let that do its thing for about 20 minutes, and that is ready to go. So I'm just gonna pour in this mix into the peppers, into the um stew the peppered stew fried stew whatever you want to call it really um and mix that in let that do its thing for a few minutes and once that is kind of all i'm just gonna let it like they're gonna come together as one in effect so you can see the asparagus here, you can see the mushrooms doing its thing and you're just going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes and once that's done, I'm going to serve it up. Stay tuned for the next part which will be the conversation that I'll be having with Molly and Josiah and catching up. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for the cooking segment of the show. I hope you've enjoyed cooking today with me and my guests. So look out for the blog post on www.angryblackwomi.com where you'll be able to find the recipes which gives you a step-by-step -step analysis of how to cook a whole meal, timings and all that good stuff. Tune in tomorrow to watch the conversation segment of the show. Um, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will catch you on the next episode of Cook Talk with Angry Black for me. Bye.